Hi, welcome to the Digital Yacht How To video series. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Navionics Charts on our SmartTrack 2014 navigation software. So I'm just going to open SmartTrack. Now, SmartTrack comes with a, a Navionics World background map which uh, is fine as a sort of backdrop but it's uh, no good for navigation so what you really do need is to is to get your Navionics charts into SmartTrack. So I'm using uh, a Navionics Plus cartridge plugged into one of their little USB readers um, and if I go to chart now uh, and then go open chart uh, it's coming up as disk F on this particular PC so I think all the chart cartridges that Navionics have sold in the last two to three years have what's called an NTAG file on it and if you uh, have an older cartridge and you want to use it on a PC it's probably worth getting the chart cartridge updated which will A give you up to date charts but B will also give you this NTAG file because what the NTAG file does is it allows you to copy that chart cartridge to a PC as hard drive so you no longer then have to read the chart straight off the, the, the um, chart cartridge you can actually put the chart cartridge somewhere safe and have all the charts loaded on your PC in fact that's what that option there is so what you do here is click on the chart cartridge and then go choppy copy chart to the hard disk and what that does is in the you need to be connected to the internet because what happens is the uh, software will go out to the Navionics website it will say right um, this PC uh, serial number XYZ wants to use chart cartridge with this NTAG file on it and it will then get an authorization back from Navionics saying that this PC can use these charts and you can do this on up to five PCs with the same cartridge so it's, it's a very powerful and, and useful feature um, I'm not going to actually copy my charts to the hard disk because it takes a few minutes to do and it will be a very boring video if I did that. So what I'm going to just do is load up the chart straight from the cartridge and I'm going to just select the English channel and then I can either load the sonar charts, these are the new um, uh, bathymetric charts that Navionics have started putting now on the, on the chart cartridges or the normal navigational charts which is the one that I'm going to, to load up. <coughs> So it takes a couple of seconds and then you'll see the detailed uh, Navionics chart appear on the screen and I'm just going to zoom in there and you can see all the depth information, nav aids, all, all the chart data there. Um, now sometimes uh, it's useful to be able to turn off certain layers of information that you're not interested in and to do that what you do is go to properties and then that brings up the chart properties window. Um, and on here, for instance, if you weren't interested in pipelines or wrecks, you can then turn those off and those will then disappear from the chart. And you can then turn them back on again if you want to using that facility. Um, so basically, any layer here, you just untick it if you don't want to display it or tick it if you want to display it. Um, and the only one that's a little bit more. Uh, involved is the depth areas and contours. If I click there, um, so what you can do is you can show depth areas or not. Um, so if I click OK there and apply, you'll note that the chart now becomes completely white. Although to be honest, I do prefer seeing the the, um, the depths with different colours to differentiate the shallow water. And in fact, what I would normally do is I'd use the safety contour value and I'd set that to to two meters. Um, and then click apply and then you'll see there the light blue areas are where there's less than two meters of depth um, and you can set any value there but it has to really be to make sense because it will just round it down to the nearest contour so you know use a contour value like five meters ten meters um, two meters one meter um, if you set one meter you'll find probably that 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 will um, only really come in when you zoom in and to a, a, a chart that has a one meter contour line on it because not all of the um, chart different scales of chart have a, a one meter contour so let's try zooming in there and so in fact that is still the two meter contour um, but if I come into uh, Chichester for instance we should then have a one meter contour line zoom in yeah. 
yeah there you go so that's the one meter contour line and you can see it's light blue uh, for depths of one meter or less and white for depths over to one meter so that's the depth details I'm just going to zoom out actually let's just close that zoom out because I want to show you some of the other settings that you've got um, so you can also uh, if you are using platinum charts you can turn on and off the satellite imagery layer um, although I'm fortunately I'm not, I haven't got a platinum cartridge uh, inserted at the moment um, and then you also can then set a transparency for the, the satellite imagery um, you can turn on and off the chart boundaries so let's just zoom out slightly uh, cancel that zoom out and you see the red chart boundaries well they once you know the area and you know what detail of chart you have those become less of an interest so you can actually turn those off um, you can also change so for instance we've, we've got this set to uh, international um, navid symbols by default but if you're a US customer you can set that to to US and then it will change to not just the the boy symbols change to the to the Noah symbols but also the the color palette changes to the to the slightly uh, uh, more pastely colors that are used on the uh, Noah charts so let's go back there uh, for those of you whose uh, eyesight is failing a little bit a bit like mine um, and struggle to see some of these smaller fonts you can actually set um, set there international large or you can set US large and what that does is it increases the font size of all the and also the icon size of all the icons and that's quite a nice uh, feature I think um, certainly on uh, need those those larger fonts these days so let's put that back to the other size um, so that's really it in terms of, of, of chart layers um, moving around the chart you do by clicking and dragging as I'm doing here um, if you want to zoom in and out you can either do it with the icons up here or if you've got a, a mouse uh, that's got a, one of those wheels on it you can use the wheel to zoom in and out which is good um, if you want to get information on a chart object so for instance this navade here you right click on it and you've got object information and it will then give you the information about that that navaid. Um, in fact it's found uh, two objects at that particular point of the chart so if I go next it also has found a depth area object so it tells me that we're in the depth of 20 to 30 meters. Um, if I wanted to know about the tides for instance so that all, each of these little tidal diamonds is the uh, tidal height uh, object if I right click on that and go object information it will then give me the tidal information um, based on today's date so it's given me uh, high tide at 6.42 1.6 meters and also tonight at 6.30 uh, so that's you know, very useful um, so if you're looking all that information up in your almanac you've got it all there on the electronic chart um, what else have we got now in charts measuring distances between objects is quite useful you just use the measure tool the cursor changes to a little uh, measuring thing and if I want to know the distance and bearing between those two uh, nav aids there we go 13 degrees uh, it gives you the reciprocal as well and 3.7 nautical miles and I can even leave that line on the chart if I want to if I want to use it as a as a transit so uh, yeah so that's that's really the uh, the main um, Navionics chart features there um, we will cover uh, other features um, and of course we'll use the Navionics charts as a backdrop for all the other uh, functions within uh, the smarter track software in the other videos that I'll be doing but that's all for today thanks very much for listening